Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am your girl, Danny V, and welcome back. So if you're new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. And if you're Odie, thank you so much for coming back. I love you guys and I appreciate your support. So this video is going to be five things that I've learned in 2018, five things that I am excited about for 2019, and five great memories from 2018. Um, so let's just go ahead and get started. Um, 2018 was a great year. I can't say it had any bad, like, devastating moments. Of course, some challenging moments, but nothing that I can't pull through and nothing that God couldn't help me with. Um, so we're gonna get started. So I'm gonna do the five best memories in 2018. Okay, so today is January 26th, 2019, right? And this was not planned, but today, last year, January 26th of 2018, is when I first created my YouTube channel. Like, oh my gosh! I was like, I need to hurry up and get this out of the way before February, because in February, they're gonna be like, who cares? Who's even talking about 2018? But. A year ago today, I made my YouTube channel, and you guys, I was so excited. I remember it was me and Cam came over to help me because he has a YouTube channel, and I was like, Cam, I want to do it, but I just don't, you know, really know exactly how to get started and what to do. And so he came over to my house, you guys, and he helped me, and we were writing everything down that I wanted to do on my channel. I knew that I wanted it to be like a vlog channel so I can go back in the previous years and just look at everything that I've been through. Um, and then I knew I wanted to do some fun challenges with my friends and have my friends on here because my friends are like my family. Um, and a lot of people want me to do pranks and I'm really scared of pranks. Like I don't like to be pranked so I don't think I could prank other people. But hey, if it gets a lot of like, everybody's like prank, 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 then maybe. So you let me know in the comments down below what you all wanna see. If it's pranks, then cool. If it's vlogs, I can handle it because that's up my alley. Um, but a year ago, I started my YouTube channel and you guys, it has been great. We're at 100 and something subscribers and you guys, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I didn't even know that it would do this well like for me to first start off but I was being consistent and you know posting videos and I kind of started getting behind posting videos but I'm coming back you guys and I'm trying to be more consistent this is our third video in a week like three weeks in a row straight videos so pat myself on the back for that and the semester has started so I mean of course I might slow down just a little bit but I'm gonna still try to be consistent um so that was one of the best memories of 2018 today January the 28th no, 26th, January 26th, I started my YouTube channel. Um, the second best memory um, of 2018 was getting accepted into the professional level social work program here at ULM. So, when I first came to ULM, I thought I was just gonna be a psychology major, and I knew that I wanted to work with family and children, and I wanted to do the counseling part of it. Um, I've always been a person who loves to hear what's going on and just seeing what I can do to help. I've always had a heart for helping others. And so um, I actually talked to one of my mama's friends and she said, why don't you just do social work? And I was like, well, I don't know too much about social work, you know? Um, and that night when she told me about it, I went home and I researched it and I found out that I could still do the same thing that I wanted to do, but just in social work. And um, everybody that I talked to in social work always said they loved their career and that they've never been without a job. Um, and so I was just like, I'ma do it. I'ma walk out on faith. I'ma do it. I'm excited. I'ma do it. And you guys, God has allowed me to succeed and do it. So I got accepted to my program like two days right before Thanksgiving break. Well, it was over Thanksgiving break, but it was right before Thanksgiving. And I remember getting the email, congratulations. I was like, yes, I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. And so I remember calling my mama and she was like, yeah, daddy, I know you could do it. I know you could do it. And so I was just really excited. I remember I was really nervous about my interview process and just doing the paperwork so I could get an interview process, go through the interview process. Um, but it all worked out and I'm in the professional level. Let's do it. So that's um, another good memory. And none of these um, great memories are in order. Like all of them were just, just as amazing as all the other ones. So it's no specific order. Um, so my third best memory of 2018 is getting my own apartment. 
okay, okay, okay. So, I remember I used to live in a dormitory. I've lived in a dormitory since I've gotten to college until now. And my roommate, Kayla. So, you all have seen her in the video. She was in the Whisper Challenge video. Um, she was my roommate when I first got to college and we lived in Masters, so we started from the bottom. Then we moved to Common, so we moved up. And now I'm in the apartments. And you guys, um, I was so afraid of leaving her because they only had one bedroom. And I was like, Kayla, I'm, you know, I'm scared. She was like, girl, just do it. You know, if it's meant to be, we'll be roommates again or whatever. So I moved into my apartment, you guys, and I have some, I had some amazing roommates. Like, next door is Casey. Um, she, y'all, she's amazing. Like, literally amazing. I was like, I don't know how this is gonna be. Like, I don't even know this girl. Like, she's like one of my best friends now. Seriously, honestly, one of my best friends. And then on the other side was China, and she's just, y'all, the sweetest. Like, she's always picking something. Like, if you want something, then, you know, I have something in there. So she's sweet. And then there was a girl named Brittany who lived there, and she was also sweet. Um, we didn't talk much, but she was sweet when I, we did talk or whatever. And then she graduated and moved out, and guess who moved in? My old roommate, Kayla. So guess what? God saw fit for us to be back together. So that was another, you know, special moment. Um, best memory number four is going to see Beyonce herself and her husband, Jay-Z, on the Raw Tour Part 2. You guys, if you know me, you know that I love, 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 love Beyonce. I am part of the Beehive. Don't ask me if Beyonce do something wrong. She can't do anything wrong, so don't ask me about it because I just love Beyonce. Um, no, but if she did something crazy, then I would just have to look. Like, you know, she did something wrong. But my mother took me. I remember my friend Kayla was like, Danielle, we need to go see, not Kayla, my roommate, but Kayla Pugh. She's also been on this channel, the 21 Savage one. Go check it out if you haven't watched it. But she was like, she's a huge Beyonce fan just as much as me. And she was like, we need to go see Beyonce. And I was like, um, I don't have some Beyonce money, but when I get some, I'll let you know. Y'all, somehow I came into some Beyonce money. Okay, God blessed me, he rained down, I was saving up. I kept saving up and I had enough to go see Beyonce. Told my mom I went to go see Beyonce, and she was like, okay, well, you girls aren't going by yourself. Like, it was in Houston, Texas, so her hometown, from the H town, coming, coming. Up. Okay, so she was like, y'all aren't going by yourself, so we're going. I'm going. I'm going to take y'all. So I was like, okay. So let me tell y'all, when I got the money, I bought my mama and my ticket. I bought both of our tickets, her ticket and my ticket. And my mama was like, well, I want to invite a friend. I don't want to just be with you two young girls. Like, I want to be with my friend. And so Kayla's mom was like, I want to go too. So it's going to be our mamas and then us, right? So anyways, uh, we ended up going to Houston. And I got to see Beyonce and Jay-Z. And it was amazing, you guys. Um, that's also a vlog. So if you haven't seen it, check it out. Um, and then I met my other friend, Cameron and Bailey, there. And they both been on the channel as well. Um, so that was just one best memory also of 2018. I had so much fun and I just can't wait to go to some more concerts with my friends. Can't wait to see what my next concert will be. So my last best memory, I said I only was gonna do five, not saying I didn't have more, but five. My fifth one is, can you guess? Can you guess? Can you, can you, can you guess? My 21st birthday. Ah! So December 31st, 2018, I turned 21 years old. You guys. And this is probably one of my favorite, my best birthday I've ever had. Um, so every year I say that my birthday, because it's on New Year's Eve, my birthday is pretty much like a celebration. Like every year I've always done something for my birthday. Most of the times I just do dinner parties, but I was like, I'm turning 21. And so I always announce what I'm going to do. I speak it into existence on my birthday. So after I have my birthday dinner, I'm like, okay, you guys, so get ready for next year because this is what we're doing. And so I remember my 20th birthday was at Posados. And uh, I was like, you guys, we're going out of town for my birthday, 21. We're traveling. We're going to be on the move. We're traveling. And so my friends were like, mm -hmm, okay, we're going to see. Guess what? We were traveling. We went to Dallas, Texas for my birthday. At first, it was New Orleans, but then when I went um, during the summer, it was just the crime rate was just so bad, okay? And Danielle is scary. I'm not scary, but 
if I know something is bad, I'm not going to put my myself in that predicament to even just be surrounded by that company, that energy. So I decided to go to Dallas for my birthday. And you all, we turned up. Okay? Turned up. Um, we stayed in Dallas, Texas for four days and three nights. Or however many days? Three days, three, four nights. Anyways, we stayed there for a long time. And so when we first got there the night, the first time, all we were doing is in the room. We had our cute little PJs on. We were singing, dancing, you know, this the thing. And then um, the next night, we went out to eat a Papa Do's for my birthday. And then we went to this um, New Year's Eve party at Club Rio in Dallas, Texas. Shout out to y'all. It was fun. And you guys, we just had a blast. Um, I was with my girlfriends. And you guys, they love me. They are down for me. And guess what? I love them too. And I am down for them as well. There was no drama, no pettiness. We just had a good time. And you guys, that's the first time in my life I realized that I want to travel. Like, I can't wait for my next vacation. I don't know where I'm going, what I'm going to do, how I'm going to get the money to do it. But I just know that I want to do something else. I want to travel. And so, that was epic. Like, I turned 21, you guys. And I was so happy when I was able to order my first drink. And my friend was like, try the swamp thing for Papa Joe's. And I was like, okay. So she was like, ma'am, I'm gonna need to see your ID. And I was like, Courtney, Courtney, my girl, here you go. I turned 21 today, here you go. I was just so excited that I was able to like purchase a drink. And you guys, since then I haven't purchased a drink because I don't drink like that. Um, but I can. And sometimes I forget when I go to restaurants and stuff, I'm old enough to order a drink, but because I'm so used to not doing it, I don't. But anyways, that are, those were some of my five best moments of 2018. Five things that I'm going to talk about that I've learned in 2018. I'm not going to go too much in depth like I did about these memories because I wasn't expecting to do that, but I just had to elaborate a little bit. But five things. So number one, things that I've learned in 2018 that has taught me um, is to forgive others. Forgive others. Um, just be a forgiving person. You know, sometimes you lose friends, uh, things don't work out, things don't go as planned, some people hurt you, but just forgive them. Love them through it all. Like, life is too short to be holding on to stuff, grudges. Then it taught me, 2018, number two, has taught me to trust the journey. Like, trust your process. Like, what God has for you is for you and no one can take it away if it's meant for it to be yours it's going to be yours um i was so like i said when i was trying out for my social work going into the program i was like mama i'm nervous I, just, I don't i don't know if they don't like me like oh my gosh you know just being dramatic as always um <laughs> but what is mine i really do believe that if god has it out and says danielle is yours it's mine um one of my favorite verses is proverbs 3 5 and 6 Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not into our own understanding, but in all our ways acknowledge him and he shall direct my path. And he's directing it, directing it, and I'm just so excited to see what God has for me in 2019. Y'all, he never fails me. I'm not saying that I don't struggle, but what I'm saying is he never fails me. And so I just learned to trust the journey and just know that no one said it's going to be easy. So put in the work. Um, another thing I learned is just be more mindful. You never know what people are going through. Um, people go through stuff all the time and people just smile through it and you don't even know that they're going through it. So just be careful of how you speak to people and what you say to people because you never know. Just a simple hello could really brighten somebody's say. Just a simple, oh, you look nice, girl. You did your hair. You look good. It could really inspire someone. So just always, you never know what they're going through. So just be mindful of what you say and your words because they can hurt people. Um, number four, laugh. Laugh more, be happy. You guys, if you don't know me, People will just be laughing at me and I don't even know what they're laughing at, but they always say I'm so funny, right? But I think I get it from my parents. Like my dad is a jokester, he is hilarious. And my mom, she's corny. Love you, mom, love you. But she's corny, y'all. Like she's she's funny. She's like, if you've ever seen on the channel, she'll say stuff. My mama is really funny, y'all. So I think I really get it from my parents and even my grandparents. Like my grandmother's funny, my papa's funny. But just laugh, I mean, and just have a good time. Life, like I said again, is too short for you just to be worried about things that 
Um, and number five, what has it taught me? It just taught me to be a better me. Um, just to be a better me. Always want more for myself. Never settle for less. And let me tell you, I'm not settling for anything less than what I know that God has in store for me. Nothing. Not relationships, not financially, not physically. Like, I know that I deserve nothing but the best and I won't do anything but give myself the best. Uh, so, yeah. So then, real quick, five things that I'm looking forward to doing this year. So 2019, let's get it, let's go. I can't believe I'm putting this on camera, but I mean, maybe if I put it on camera, then I gotta hold myself to it. But number one, lose some weight this time, okay? I'm not gonna say I'm gonna drop this amount because if I don't, then I'm gonna be discouraged. But just lose some weight. Like, come on, Danielle. Like, girl, you gotta, like, we said we got a year before we graduate. We got to be snacked because them graduation pictures, everybody gonna see them graduation pictures. So they have to look good. So, of course, lose some weight. Um, that's everybody's goal. Uh, travel. Like I said, I'm gonna get me some money. I am going to travel um, this summer. Hopefully, I travel at least to five different cities. Five. Five, okay? So, that's what I wanna do. Three, I want to do some things. Okay, you guys, I'm sorry about that. My camera died. Uh, what did I say? Um, at least travel to three cities over the summertime. Um, number four, I want to eat better. Um, I need to learn how to cook. I can cook, don't get me wrong, I can cook, but cook better, well, cook well. Um, I want to start eating more healthier, more cleaner foods. Um, you guys, let me just be honest with you. It costs to be healthy. These people low-key don't want you to be healthy, but um, like I said, I won't settle for anything, so. I'm gonna start eating healthy. That way I can lose the weight. And five, I just wanna be just a better person, do better with my family. Um, Y'all know they're everything to me, but be a better friend, a better, just a better person, a better friend, a better person, a better daughter, a better granddaughter, a better cousin, just anything like that. Just overall, just be a better me. Um, because I'm still learning, I'm still growing, and this year I'll be 22, which is crazy. I'm getting old, but I'm still getting fine. Hey! So, <laughs> so just be a better me. Um, and this video went longer than expected. It really did. I can talk. I really can talk. But um, we're just going to end this here. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Um, let me know what are some of your goals for 2019. I'm just curious. Um, what did you learn? What did 2018 teach you? Um, let it me know down below because I want to know. Um, but I just thank you all for your support. Like I said, today it's been an entire year since I made this channel, created this channel, and I'm just so happy that to see the growth of the channel. And of course, I still wanted to expand. There's always things that I can do better. So I just can't wait to see what God has in store for me in 2019. I wish you all a happy 2019. And let me tell you something. Don't accept anything but the best. The best. Um, I love you guys. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.